But I hate that thing. I do hate that thing of like not being seen as tough. And I know that's pathetic at 47. Still have that. I love that hang on about not being, not having any presence. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you have got that friend when you're a bloke at school, and you have, you have that friend who's a little bit scary when you first meet them, and you kind of love them more when they become your friend because you realise that they're lovely, that your first impression was wrong. I'm the reverse of that. People think I'm lovely, nice, sweet, get to know me, find out I'm a little bit spiteful. Um, <laughs> and I am tougher than you think. I'm not, I'm not a pad I've been, I've been in, I've been in an armed siege. Yeah, quite uh, early in my comedy career, I was in an armed siege in South London. I was in a pub, I was meant to be doing a gig in the back of this pub, and what happened was someone, there was a feud going on between two guys, one of them walked in and someone thought he had a gun, called the police, this whole pub was surrounded by armed police. <laughs> now I'm waiting in the main part of the pub, knowing I'm going on in the second half of this gig, so we don't know, any, we don't know the place is surrounded by armed police. The way I find out is, I go and push the door open to the room where the gig's meant to be on, it's completely empty, the emergency exit is open, a light is shining through, and I just hear, armed police, step into the light! <laughs> And I thought, I'm in showbiz, I can do this. <laughs> um, um, I promise you, two armed policemen did this. Oh. <laughs> Ten, <laughs> three, five, three, five, five. <laughs> Do you know what people think I'd be pathetic in scary situations? I am not. I'm actually, it takes me time to realise I'm in danger. I have no perspective. Like, these police, I'm, these police were saying to me, they said, come here, how many people in the main part of the pub? How many people in the main room? I said, it was about 40, but it's, it's very early in my career. I don't really have a follow <laughs> and, and, and they said, run, leg it over there behind that block of flats. Leg it now. I went, do I have to run? They went, yeah, run. Do you know why I didn't want to run? I've got a funny run. <laughs> In a siege situation that was still in my mind. I've got dodgy knees, I'm a little bit out to the side. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I was running, I was running past all the... There are policemen in bushes behind doorways and all I could think was they were going, Sarge, check the run, check the run this one, Sarge, it's hilarious. <laughs> That's why I could, I could never be a policeman, because I, 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 just, I just lack that perspective. You know, if I was in the control room, People would be calling up going, me and my friend are being attacked. I'd be like, I'm sure it's my friend and I. I'm sure it's my friend and I, isn't it? <laughs> we should never have come here. We should never have come here. I hate that one. Oh. <laughs> the only job I reckon I could do in the police, which I don't know if they still do. I don't know they still do that. I want to be in the helicopter that films the car chases. They I mean, need to be up high going, oh, he's running away. Catch him, someone. <laughs> Hit the student, hit the student, hit him harder, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>